Hi, Kathy here from Kathy's Cute Creations. Today I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the Sew Sampler subscription. So let's get started on this. And it says, My Happy Place. And it says, Selling Sale into Savings. So it's got a couple of different offers for the subscribers. Then it has a little pamphlet that shows you all the different items that are in the box. And we have Arctic Fabric by Elizabeth Hartman. So let me get that unwrapped so we can take a look at that. This little... Hmm. Oh, it's attached here. Let me get my scissors. Hold on one second. Okay. This is kind of cute. Look at the little ribbon that they had. Little tape measure. Okay. So the fabric, let's see, looks like, I think it's 10 inch squares. Let me make sure, is that what it is? 20 pieces? Yeah, here we go, let me show you. I don't really know what color this is. I don't know if that is it's not really considered brown. I mean, the the little feathers are brown, but I don't know what the other color is. And then here looks like cotton. If you were to just pick it, it's that same color there. Then we have a gigum, a gingham, a gigum, <laughs> a little bit lighter, but it goes with that. And then I think that's a type of might be a purple. They cut, the colors look like they're um, they're not bright colors, but they they almost look to me like they're a washed out of a color. If that makes any sense. I feel like I don't know my colors looking at these. The designs are pretty on them, and then this one goes with that. Let's see if I get any closer, but better to see what it is. That made me think about picnic tablecloth. Now this one's a gray. It's got the little circles on it. And then the gray also has for the cotton. Or the, uh, looks like cotton. I'm not quite sure if it's supposed to be representing cotton or something. I don't know, something. And then this is the gray gingham. So it looks like each one has the same. For example, this is green with the feather. Now the next one is going to be circles, but it's also got like stars on it. That's green, and it goes with that, the feather green. And then the one that I'm calling cotton, because I don't know what that is representing, what kind of flower that is. And then this, it looks like a really, really light blue. I'm not quite sure. This might be between a gray, a gray green and a blue. I'm not sure. This is looks like a green. So those those might be green. That's a green. And then this looks like a could be a a darker gray with the I don't know, it's got like other colors with it. It's not like one single kind of color. But although this looks like it's blue, so maybe that's like a blue gray because this is supposed to be going with it. It's the darker part, the little um like the little points right there, that's whatever that color is, that's what that polka dotted was. And then we have the gingham and it kind of looks like it's a blue. It's kind of a, it's a lighter type blue. And then the feathers, which looks like that's also blue. Okay, so that's those 20. Then we have a seam guide, so standard seam guide, a four in one tool. Show you that there. Let's see if I can. The tool itself is green. Let me open it up here to take a look at it. Gives you four different uses. So it says, here's what the tool looks like. Is that right side up? Okay, this is right side up. Sorry about that. Okay, so it says measuring small pieces. So that sounds about right. That looks like it's a five and a half inch ruler by a two and a half. 
you can set your stitch accurately so all these little holes represent the dip distance for example the very first hole right here is an eighth of an inch so if you take this up to your sewing machine you put your needle through that hole that's an eighth inch so if you wanted to because you don't have any markings on your sewing machine you can take a piece of tape so lay this down put your needle through it and then wherever this lays that's where you're going to put your tape and then you'll have that exact distance between the needle and so it goes from an eighth all the way down to it says two inches so it also says you can mark your one fourth inch measurement up here in the corner that right there that's what that's representing so if and I'll tell you where that would really come in handy and that is when you're doing your binding because when you get to the end of your binding and I haven't showed you this yet you mark a fourth inch from the end of the binding and then you are folding it over your fabric so when I get ready to do a binding which I'm going to be doing here I don't know if I will show you on the last video I did when I make the table when I quilt and bind the table topper or if it's going to be something else but I'll show you how to use this ruler when we do the one fourth inch on the corner and then also it says based on this line right here that's where you're going to trim your half square triangles okay so that's a pretty good little tool I've never seen that one before and then they sent an Olaf 45 millimeter pink and since I don't need this this will be going in the giveaway box if the person wants it they have a pattern which is easy living and it looks like it is chairs and I'm trying to figure out is it, is it an ottoman it could be an ottoman let me show you the picture of it and they used this fabric they have in the box for this. Let's see here. And of course they show you how to lay it out and everything. Let's see. Looks like it's got a, a, quite a bit of small, and oh, along with the chairs, I just now noticed looking at the picture here, they have lamps next to the chair. So there's the lamp. Oh, here's a lamp right here. So there's a lamp right there next to that chair, next to that chair. And here's a lamp here. That's interesting. Let's see. Oh, and here's a nice layout. So they've got the lap. Uh, it's got a lap quilt center and lap borders, and it shows. Here it is. There you go. That's probably a better picture because it's got colors. They're using green for the background. And then of course it shows you how to assemble it. Here, let's show you that there. Your borders. You're putting the sides on and then the top and bottom. And let's see, can you order more? Um, yes, and they do have the kits, they say. The lap version is a 48 and a half by 57 and the twin version is a 65 and a half by 84 inch. And like I say, you can get more fabric if you want. And then the very last in here, and I know I'm late on my barn block, and this is the number five, and I don't even have the number four done. There's number five. I didn't get to do any sewing last week. Um, I had carpal tunnel syndrome really, really bad in my right wrist, and it started acting up at the tail end of the week in my left, so I didn't do any sewing at all. And I have to get the block four and five done. And actually block five doesn't look like it's that hard. But I will get them done and up. Oops. Give you an idea there. Make sure I got it in the picture. I'll try to get those up. Let's see, and I think they started putting the value on the Oh, here I missed something as soon as I open up my card. Okay, so we've got some thread. Hold on one. She hasn't been feeling well this week. She's been sick the past couple days. All right. Okay, you're right. So the thread is 
oyster thread, so that must be the color. There's a number on it. MK50-2405. It looks like it's a, a really, really light pink. I don't know if you can see that if I put that up against the camera, if it'll focus back up a little bit. But that's what they're saying it is. So if you're interested in the value of the items, they are saying that the Petite Arctic, that's what they're calling the 10 inch squares. And that is for Robert Kaufman Fabrics. That is uh, retailed at $16.98. The thread there is retailed at $3.98. The rotary cutter is $16.48. The little ruler, which I've never seen before, that is $6.48. Of course, you know our barn quilt, that's $4.98. And then the quilt that they put in here, the Easy Living Quilt Pattern, that is valued at $9.98. And of course they've got discounts and all that. So that is everything that was in the box. And I don't know what I'll make out of the fabric. Lord knows if I'll have the time <laughs> to be truthful with you. But like I said, I will put uh, maybe the thread. I'm not sure. I'll put, but definitely this is going in the box to be given away because I do not need that. Um, well, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, give it a thumbs up if you did and watch for some of my other videos. And I'm like I said, I'm going to try to catch up with my barn quilt. Here are all the items that came in the box. And the colors, <laughs> which I did not know, the card said that the line has polar bears, feathers, and snow caps. Although I didn't see the polar bears, but shucks, I didn't know the colors either, so... But it's supposed to be plaid, snowflakes, stars, and it's muted grays, blues, greens, and mauves, which symbol comfort and warmth. And I think coming up, cuddling up in your recliner is the relaxing part. That's finding your, I want to call it finding your happy space. <laughs> it's wrapped up in a nice quilt in your recliner. That would be good for me. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.